welcome again and uh, in this video we are going to see how to connect uh, database connectivity using uh, JSP so for uh, database connectivity I'm going to use database on MySQL so I'm going to run my MySQL database and first we need create a database so uh, we divided this whole process in a two part first in a first part we insert the database uh, insert data in database in a second part uh, uh, we retrieve the data from database so uh, for creating database in a MySQL workbench you need just click on this icon and uh, here uh, your database name like uh, we are going to connect to the JSP to database so JSPDB is my database name so click on apply and again apply and finish so when I click when I refresh my schemas so here is a database JSPDB so I'm going to create a table in JSPDB so select the database jspdb and click on uh, here this on this icon for creating table so i am going to create a register table where we are going to register some database some data so first is user id so is a unique id for every user which will in my database so I'm making it make it as a primary key and it will auto increment and it's an teaser and the second one is name and data type is work here and it's not null and the next one is email and third column is password Okay, it's also not null. It's not null. As I'm going to click on apply and apply. Now I'm going to connect this database with my NetBeans. So in a NetBeans, go on your service services here and click on database and MySQL database and search here for your database so my database is uh, jsp database but it's not show because uh, i'm not refresh it so first right click on it and click on refresh so as i refresh there is a database jspdb and right click on jspdb and click connect so here is a url for jspdb here so click on it and you can see here a table register when you right click on register and view data you can see the column you call on uid name email and password so now our database is ready now we are going to uh, create a project a new project on a netbin so first click on file on new project and on java web click web application then next here uh, your project name uh, my project name is jspdb and uh, next and select your server my server I'm, as a server I am using the glassface server 4 and click on next I am not use any framework so click on finish so id create a demo project for us now uh, here is my project jspdb and it create a by default file index.html but we are using we are going to use jsp file so for creating a new jsp file right click on project new and jsp here is a jsp file so i'm going to name it index.jsp and click on finish so I have a two file index.html and index.jsp but I don't need in 
index.html so delete it are you sure yes so just check my index.jsp so right click on project and run as I run here is a message hello world okay everything is fine so here in my JSP page I'm going to create uh, some input field first uh, I'm going to create a form for XN here so inside this form I'm going to create some input fields input input type as a text and first field is input type is text and name is name now the second one is for email and third one is for password as email its type is email and its type is password and its name is email and its name is password so I'm going to create here a pre egg for formatting well okay now I'm going to run it again so when I run it again there is a three field okay for clarity I'm using the placeholder for background data like enter name and the second one is placeholder email and third placeholder is password so just I'm going to check it okay it's done so we need a button for submit data so again one more input field field in input field there is a type of input field is submit or button and the next is value is register now our HTML code is ready and for submit we are going to redirect to this we are going to redirect uh, this all the values on uh, another page and so creating another page just create a new JSP file and this name is insert data finish now I'm going to uh, pass action and pass action on insert data dot jsp dot jsp okay when I'm click on this enter and I'm passing the name first p gmail.com and a password anything which you want and just I click on register it's pass the value on uh, insert data.jsp so name is op email and all the things and now we need to uh, create a database connection for inserting the data in database so for database connection in JSP just use script 
this and all the database connectivity inside this code first you need to track his block for handling the exceptions pass there is there is a url of database connection and here id and password so for connection class you need to import a package sql okay java dot sql dot connection so now we need the url so how to get url so first go on the service tag and click on your url and property then here is your driver name it's com.mysql jdbc driver and here you pass this url and now copy it till your database and pass here and here the of ID a username of your database and password of your database now we are going to a statement we are going to create a statement which name is a t and con dot create statement for the statement you need to import package java dot sql dot statement and the next thing is now you are ready to execute query so st dot for inserting data you need it must be used execute update execute update so the query is insert into register my table name is register here and you need to pass the values of your column your column name so my column name is uh, uid name email and password but my uid is auto increment so just i use name email password so values values me so before uh, typing value you need to get the value from index.jsp so create a variable a string name equals to request dot get parameter get parameter and here is the name here is a unique name this one which we declare in index.jsp here and for email field as a email and for password field here is a password so the second is email and third is password second name is email and third one is password so pass here email and password so these value name email and password pass here in your query so this is a syntax for java first second and third value and the first value is name second one is email and third one is pass so <coughs> now 
I'm going to print a message for uh, confirm my data is inserted or not. So data is inserted. Or if is there any problem, I'm going to print my exception. So out dot print and then e. Okay now everything is fine code is done so now we need to uh, a mysql connector so go on your library folder and right click on library and go on your property and add jar folder and you need to uh, file mysql connector you can download it on google easily it will be available so import it click on ok ok my SQL connector is added here so now I'm going to run it and check it it will be fine or not so when I'm going to run it and I'm pass here some data user1 and email is user at the rate gmail.com and password is user when I click on register it will give me a successful message data is inserted so I'm going to check it on my database data is inserted or not so click on service and here is my register table so I'm going to right click on registering table and click on view data so here you can see the UID which we uh, set as a auto, auto increment so it's uh, count one and name is a user one an email and a password so it will work fine and uh, my data is inserted and the video is too long so I'm going uh, so and the next part of this video how to retrieve data from database will be uh, in a second part so thank you so much for watching if you like please subscribe for continue video and for continue updates for new video please subscribe my channel and thank you so much.